Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to the Smallitics channel. So today I want to talk about something that people DM me about all the time and that's being frustrated about not seeing results and not being sure what variables you should change or why you're not seeing results. And not seeing results can be one of the leading reasons why someone might stop trying altogether and just stop working out and stop trying to eat healthily anymore. And I would hate to see you give up or quit. So we are gonna go over the top five reasons why petite women might not be seeing results with their current workout or nutrition plan and take you through some potential fixes for those problems or reasons why as well. So if you like this video, if it is gonna help you in any way, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And without further ado, let's jump into the top five reasons why. And I'm gonna say for the sake of this video, and just because this is the most common thing that people come to me wanting to change, that we'll define results as a body recomposition, that is losing fat and gaining muscle. So the number one reason why you might not be seeing results as a petite is because you are taking the old fashioned cardio and dieting approach to your fat loss as a petite. If you've seen any of my videos over the years, you guys know that this approach does not work well for the petite female body type. And there's a lot of reasons why, but just to give you a brief overview. First off, one thing you gotta know about being a shorter woman in general, doesn't matter your body shape or your weight or whatever. If you're shorter, we eat fewer calories in a day in general, we need less energy, we are more efficient, and this is like the same thing as saying we have slower metabolism. So the number of calories we eat in a day as a petite woman is going to be generally less than the number of calories that a tall woman would eat in a day or a lean, tall man, for example. Um, we might be eating anywhere from you know, 1500 calories to 1800, whereas a taller woman could be eating 2000 and more at their maintenance level. Now there's a lot of variation in these numbers, but just something to know going into this, your metabolism is just naturally lower, slower than a taller woman. Now the cardio and dieting approach, this assumes that you have a lot of calories to begin with that you can take away from. Since you don't as a petite, when you do start to diet and take away calories, you further slow down your metabolism, further diminish it, and you end up holding on to fat, you end up not burning as many calories anymore, and you're already so low. So this is a big, big problem that I see a lot with petite women. They're entering calorie deficits that are way too steep, they're, they're dipping below 1,000 calories a day, and when you get to that low level of calories, you're not able to get the nutrients that you need in, in a day to support a faster metabolism, you're not able to build muscle because you can't get even enough protein in with that low calories, and you need muscle to increase your metabolism. And the reason why muscle naturally increases the metabolism is because it takes more calories just to have that muscle on your body. So your body is going to be burning more calories throughout the day on your own, like sleeping, not even at the gym. You will be literally burning more calories if you have more muscle mass, which means you can eat more, which means you can have a better lifestyle, which means all of these other things, right? So making sure that you're prioritizing building muscle as a petite and your nutrition is supporting that, it means you can't be eating less than a thousand calories a day. And you're also, when you do diet that low as a petite, you're not gonna drop fat, you're gonna drop muscle for the same reason, because muscle is a very hard to maintain thing on a diet. So your body's gonna say, okay, muscle goes first because that takes the most energy to sustain. And we'll do the fat, you know, another time, probably never, because it's just gonna be trying to stay alive at that point. Now, this also plays into the cardio. If you're doing tons of cardio as a petite, and then also in conjunction with the dieting, the cardio is not helping you build muscle, which speeds up your metabolism. So the number one thing I see with petite women who are quote unquote skinny fat, I don't like that term, but I do have a video on that if you wanna go watch that video, that's also um, specifically about that problem. But if you're petite, you've been dieting a long time, you've been doing tons of cardio or daily cardio and you're not seeing results, this is why. This approach is further diminishing your metabolism. It's not fueling a healthy lifestyle. It's not helping you build muscle, which naturally boosts the metabolism. So that is the number, number one reason why you might not be seeing results. You might be taking this approach that is just better tailored to taller women, the classic, you know, and you've probably felt this before, like your taller girlfriends can just go like, 
run a few miles and like cut some calories and they like slim down really fast. But for us, it is a little bit different and we need to be a little bit smarter about taking a more healthier, sustainable approach. Reason number two why you're not seeing results as a petite year is you are expecting them to come too quickly. Unfortunately, everything that we see online says that we can get abs in two weeks, we can achieve these crazy, you know, body recompositions really quickly. But the fact of the matter is a lot of that is not true. It does take time to go through a body recomposition to really have make significant changes in your muscle to fat ratio. So for example, say you know you have a normal metabolism meaning you're eating at a maintenance calories that is uh that is healthy for your body weight so you're not dieting you don't have a history of dieting maybe you're eating 1500 to 1800 calories a day as a deep could be around there maybe 1400 to 1800 if you're in that range and you start lifting weight and you start eating more nutrient dense foods prioritizing protein you could start to see positive changes in your body composition within you know, eight to 12 weeks. That's where you might see it, depending on a number of factors, which is as a general statement. However, if you're expecting to see results after four, you probably won't see physical changes, but you might start feeling changes really soon. So you could feel like you have more energy. You could just feel like you're waking up and it's, you're not sluggish. You could feel more full and satiated, those types of things you can notice. But if you're looking for those like really physical results, it is gonna take time, the real deal does take time, and I'm saying this because I want you to know the truth here and the science, and know that anything worth having, you know, good health does take a little bit more time and it's not gonna happen overnight. So just make sure you have realistic expectations, you are tracking your progress in whatever way is meaningful for you, there's so many different ways depending on your goals, um, and that you're not putting pressure on yourself to get in shape by, you know, your friend's wedding in two weeks. Like, give yourself a good healthy timeline and do it the right way, a sustainable way. Reason number three why you might not be seeing results as a petite is that you might have a history of disordered eating or a history of restrictive eating, a history of extreme dieting that you did for a long period of time. So if you are the type of petite woman who yo-yo dieted, who restricted foods, who ate under a thousand calories for many years, or even you know your whole life, this is a special scenario where the research shows that you are going to need to spend a little bit longer than someone who hasn't been restrictively dieting to restore your metabolism to a baseline, meaning your metabolism when you diet, it doesn't stay where it is. It actually slows down and it, it's smart. It slows down to fit the needs uh, and the calories that you're able to give it at that time. So if you're eating a thousand calories a day, your metabolism is gonna slow down. When you go to get in shape and change your calories, it's gonna take some time to get back up to a normal range of calories for your body. This is kind of known as resetting your baseline. There's a lot of emerging research on it. But the idea here is that, and the evidence shows that it's going to take someone who's been restrictive for years a little bit longer to restore that baseline. And then once you've restored the baseline, then that's when you can start working on that body recomposition. And that's not to say you can't make meaningful changes in your body composition as you're reverse dieting. You absolutely can, but it's just a little bit longer of a timeline. So if you can just have patience, do what you can to you know, spend six months to a year in that process, it is gonna take time. We have, taught, we have brought so many petite women of all age ranges, especially women 50 plus who tend to have this, this scenario. Um, you know, they spent a lot of their, their adult life dieting or just always were in a diet. We've taken a lot of petite women through this process and it does take about a little bit longer than three months. Like I said, six, 12 months around there before you're really starting to see that result that you have in your head. Um, and this isn't every petite woman, but if this is so if this is you, just remember to have patience and have some grace for yourself while you're making these changes. Reason number four why you're not seeing results as a petite is because you're not taking this metabolic approach that I talked about in reason number one. You're not focusing on building your metabolism. Your emphasis could just be in this, you know, weight loss and the scale instead of working on your metabolism and your body composition. So what does this mean? The scale is just looking at your total body weight, okay? That includes your muscle mass. So when you're going through a body recomposition, the scale might not be the best tool for you to measure your progress with unless you have a lot of weight that you wanna lose. If you're at a weight that you, you know, maybe you wanna drop a couple pounds, okay, but you mostly want to just tone up, the scale is not gonna be the best 
measurement for that, but you're still fixated on it. So try to find other measurements and ways that you can track your progress, such as journaling, you know, subjective things, measurements, take photographs, um, look at how your clothes fit month to month. This is gonna be a much better judge of how is my body composition changing over time versus the scale. And the scale can just weigh you down. If you don't like the number you see or it's increasing, you could stop lifting weights and get discouraged when really you're headed towards the exact way you wanna look, you just don't know it yet. So focus on building your metabolism, focus on your body composition, try to let go of you know burning as many calories as humanly possible during HIIT workouts, eating few calories and the skill because this will get in the way of you achieving your ultimate goal. Okay, and reason number five why you are not seeing results as petite. You think that you know your nutrition when in reality you don't. This is super common. You won't really know what you're eating until you really take stock of it and you get real with yourself. And the best way to do this is to just keep a food journal for three days and write down literally every single thing you eat. Now, this is, this is an exercise in awareness. This is not an opportunity to criticize yourself to change the things that you're eating because you're ashamed once you start writing them down. This is not the time for judgment, okay? This is the time for learning, education, and awareness. So try your best to keep a food journal. I like the My Macros app or My, My Fitness Pal if you enjoy that. You can use those, log the food you're eating, and just take stock of what you're eating. You might find that you thought you were eating 1500 calories, but really you've been eating over 2000 calories a day, which for a petite woman would be very hard to sustain unless you're doing a sh lot of activity. So in general, it's really good to just be aware of your nutrition because we tend to think we know what we're eating, but we don't really know until we just take a little inventory list and we take a look and see what's really going on here. Am I actually eating at a healthy number of calories or am I way under eating or am I way over eating? Because it could be either way. So keep that three day food journal and just check in with your nutrition and see. This is also a good opportunity for you to look at the composition of your diet, not just the calories, right? You can take a look how much processed foods am I eating? How much protein am I getting in a day? How much fiber am I getting in a day? How much water am I drinking? These are all things you need to know and you should know if you're trying to get towards a specific goal. You don't have to track it every single day, but just have a, an understanding of where you're starting out so that you can make little changes here and there to get to where you want to go. So I'm curious to know which of these five reasons why you haven't been seeing results might resonate with you the most. Let me know in the comments below which number like like for you, or are, are you like, oh, that's like me, like that's my issue. Um, and maybe I can make an even more in-depth video for you guys on that one, depending on you know if there's one that really clearly stands out. And if you have any questions about this, let me know below. Um, and give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more content to Petite Women. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.